Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing interview video and I'll be opening the Skyroom Solis Lite Global Wi-Fi Hotspot. So I would, I would like to uh, mention that this is not paid or affiliated reviews. All my uh, reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. Uh, there are no affiliated links, no nothing. I purchased this with my own money so you're going to get my totally honest opinion about the product. So this is a device which lets you connect to the internet anywhere you go on earth. So basically right now they have coverage of uh, in more than 130 countries. So basically it's just you know any country uh, you can think of. Maybe very some limited countries they don't have coverage yet. And uh, whenever or wherever uh, there's a cell phone tower then you can connect to internet via this device. And I'm going to talk about uh, more about this device uh, but before I do that let's just do a quick unboxing and take a look what we have inside and uh, some of the specs right here well, this is fast uh, secure 4g lte speed and then pay as you go or subscribe so they have like you know plans uh, you don't have to actually take any monthly plan you can just pay whenever you need and then there's a global wi-fi in 130 plus countries which i just mentioned and battery lasts up to 16 hours and then you can share 10 devices from the uh, your internet connection from this device and the setup is very easy with uh, the app and uh, the box looks pretty nice and I'm just going to you know uh, remove the box and let's see what we have inside I like the packaging uh, you know very simple and very catchy and very nice designing and actually looks like um, there's something raised here so it feels like there's something although there's nothing but the way it's printed it feels like you know it uh, the device is right here but it's not and uh, you can see that you know they sealed here so let's just like you know open it up and I'm just going to leave on the other side so let's just open up from this side so there's a welcome package and let me just take a look here So this is just kind of in you know, a small brochure uh, or literature and it just like you know probably tells you what to how to connect and other information so it just have you know instructions and everything so I'll just take a quick look at these and we'll just you know set it aside here and then in terms of cable looks like we have one USB-C cable and everything is very like you know bright orange uh, kind of like that it's very difficult or hard to miss them so this is just a cable to connect it to uh, power bank or to charge this uh, this is actually also works as a charger for your phone in addition to being as a hotspot and I don't think there's anything else here so I'm just going to remove the device here and let's take a look if we have anything else in here so at this point uh, the box is empty I don't see anything else is here so I'm just going to you know put it in here so basically that's what all we got with the device uh, and let's take a look at the device here so the first thing you're going to notice is that this is very nice to hold in hand and this is like in a very like in a smooth texture and bright color and looks really cute so it looks like a kind of a hockey puck but probably a little bit like you know uh, more or less like a hockey puck but uh, very nice designing and you can see that you know there's the Wi-Fi but uh, Wi-Fi light right here and there's the signal strength right here and this indi indicates that that you know um, on this indicates that whether you have connection going on and then on here you can see that it shows Skyroam and then there's the USB-C port and I have a feeling that when this is connected then probably there's going to be a light right here 
and on the back of the device actually they have the password and user ID so I just covered it and here this is the Skyrim light uh, they have two different versions and I chose to buy this one because this doesn't have a camera or a smart assistant built in which I don't need and it's about 100 somewhere between 130 to 150 dollars Canadian so once you buy the device you keep it and then you just like you know pay the price to use internet and you can just like you know uh, take internet with you anywhere you go on earth so this is going to come in very handy whenever I'm traveling so the next step I'm going to just like you know uh, take uh, pay them uh, install the app and test the internet and I'm going to show you what type of speed I get in order to connect your device to internet so the first thing you need to do uh, you have to install the app and if you do a search under Skyrim or let's say Skyrim app then you're going to see a match and then you know once you install then you have to open that but before you do that I suggest uh, just open an account online and uh, have the password and ID ready so once you click on it then it's going to take you to the app and I already logged into my account so it's just now asking me to uh, set up the hotspots uh, or asking me to connect to my device. So I have the device ready right here So I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to just uh, press this button here for about three seconds And I'm going to you know go to status or sorry hotspot and then Skyrim Solace so it's asking to turn on the Skyrim Solace so what happened here I was trying to connect to the device uh, from my cell phone and looks like I couldn't connect it and then kept pushing the power button on um, I thought I had full charged uh, the device but looks like you know it was not actually charged uh, so I connected uh, the device to a power bank to get the power and now I'm going to just you know turn it on to see if it works and I can connect it okay so I pressed it for about three seconds and looks like it's now trying to connect and I'm going to click here uh, set up a Wi-Fi hotspot and then it's asking me what type of device we have then we have a Skyrim Solace light so I'm just going to click on it and it says that turn on and I'm going to just click on it to say it's turn on now wait for the static light the three indicator lights will stand still once the Skyrim has found a signal so looks like these three lights right here uh, they should be you know uh, fixed once there's a signal so it's just you know trying to connect to a signal and here it says that the light is static which isn't yet so I'm just going to wait a little bit and see how long it takes to connect it to a signal so it might take you know uh, a few seconds to a few minutes to find a signal uh, but you know I'm in uh, the city of Toronto so there shouldn't be any problem uh, connecting to a signal because there are just too many cell towers here so we'll just wait a few more minutes and see what happens here okay so finally we are on and it, it took a while and I'm going to see click here the light is static and it says go to Wi-Fi setting on your phone and connect to that hotspot Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi name and password printed at the bottom of the spot then come back to the app to finish the setup so I'm going to go to the Wi-Fi setting and then I'm going to just you know flip it but uh, I'll cut this part later on because it has the password okay so you can see here that you know I have the Skyrim uh, internet right here so I'm going to click on it and then it's asking for the password and I'm going to enter the password okay so I entered the password and let's click connect and it looks like it's connecting and it says no internet uh, because you know uh, definitely I didn't pay yet so I'm just going to go back to the app and it's it's actually giving me the option right here Skyrim has no internet access tap for option go back to Skyrim internet again so it looks like it's just interfering with my own uh, Wi-Fi so I'm going to click here and then it says that this network has new internet stay connected and I'm going to just you know click on this and say yes and then let's see what happens here so I'm going to go back to the app 
and then here you can see that it's trying to connect and I have a feeling that it's going to uh, you know take me to the page where I have to buy the plan so here it says can connect to the hotspot Wi-Fi please first go to Wi-Fi setting and then hold down the button Wi-Fi setting and we have this one here so that's the basically that's the process and then actually we got this uh, new uh, message that connecting to a cellular network and most likely it's going to take me to a page so let's see what happens here so the first time it's a little bit like you know it takes time and it can be troublesome to set it up for the first time but I have a feeling that the second time or after the first time it should be much easier to connect it to a Wi-Fi because you already set up everything okay so now is asking to you know password login and I already have an account so I'm just going to click login and let's see what happens here okay so still it's asking me to enter my email and password which I'll do so now these two have been connected and I don't have to go through the connection process anymore and let's click on let's go and it's just now giving you like you know activate day pass or different type of pass you can have so basically that's what I wanted to show you so we went through the full connection process and then you know uh, now you have an idea how to connect your device to your smartphone hello everyone I'm going to try to connect to the Solus Skyrim for the first time and you already connected and set up the app for the first time uh, which was in the previous part so I have the app right here and the soul is right here so I'm just going to open this app and it tells here that connect to Wi-Fi but before you do that I'm going to just show you that you know I have a uh, free plan but I think it's not okay so it's not working but let me just you know go back to here and I'm going to just turn this on by pressing here go to phone Wi-Fi setting and then connect to phones hotspot Wi-Fi so I'm just going to go here and you can see that you know there's the Skyrim right here which I set it up before so I'm just going to click on it and let's see if it can connect mentioning that connecting to a cellular network please wait but it also asked me to enter the password so I'm just going to go here and enter the password okay so it just tells to wait so let's just wait a little bit uh, click on OK I got it and it's still searching for network and you can see that uh, the sign changing so it's changing here from Wi-Fi uh, from signal and the Wi-Fi looks like a steady so we'll just you know wait and see what happens and it's still here it says searching so let's just wait and you can see the progress bar right here so estimated total startup time three to five minutes so it looks like you know it's going to take you about three to five minutes when you start for the first time or when you're trying to connect so let's see what happens here nothing is happening yet okay so looks like the bar is complete so let's see what happens now i can see that the signal is steady so that means it connected but let's just see what happens here okay so looks like it got connected and it says that one connection we have 4g signal and 100 percent battery and connecting to a network and actually you can get the message uh, that skyrim connected okay so let's see here limited connection so let's just go back and still looks like connecting okay so it's using the day pass um, which I had before I didn't buy that they just gave me with the device so that this is just the active day pass so I'm just going to click on it and it's activating the day pass and then you can see that it's connected 
and here I have 24 hour remaining and then it's just you know uh, giving me the location Canada but that's all I can see uh, let me see what what is signal scan so I just want to click on it and see uh, Click start to signal scan to identify better mobile network. So what what is this that you know it just scans for another network? And I'm just going to see if this works here. So let's see you know uh, if uh, it works and what type of network uh, it can connect to from uh, downtown Toronto, Canada. So it looks like starting service, and again it's looking for more signal, and I don't know how it's going to show up. I'm hoping that it would show me several networks with the speed okay so looks like it didn't give me any option it's just you know switch to a different network uh, which is just okay so for sure I'm connected and I'm just going to see what type of uh, speed I get okay so I'm going to open up the speed test and let's see who it's connecting to so go I have a feeling it's connected to TELUS network. You can see that, you know, it's showing TELUS here. And uh, let's see how is the speed. Here, it doesn't look too good. It's very low speed, so. Okay, so it almost has no speed. So what I'm, uh, it has just a little bit upload, but looks like download is very low. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll just, you know, switch back to a different network. Let's go to signal scan. And we're going to go to a better signal. And let's see what's the next signal we get. So it looks like it caught another signal. And let me just, you know, uh, wait. Okay, so it connected. So what I'm going to do, let me do the speed test again, and then we'll see, you know, what type of signal we're getting. So speed test, and go. Okay, now looks like we have a lot better signal. So I'm not sure why the same network who just tell us had so poor signal before. So that part I'm not sure. It looks like you know it caught the same network but with a better signal. So this is actually fairly a good signal uh, and both upload and download are fairly okay. So 19 Mbps and looks like it's gonna get at 13, 14. Okay so going down 10, 11. So we got uh, 19 and 10 and let me just try again. Oh. I'll just wait a little bit more and you can see that it connected so let's just go back to the speed test again and if you click on it okay so it looks like you know it got the lower signal tell us again so I'm going to have to assume that, you know, they only have contract in this region with TELUS and if you try signal scan, it's just switching back and forth to TELUS better signal to the lower signal. So this is the TELUS lower signal and then before we had the TELUS better signal. So I don't know why TELUS has two different types of signal, but we'll, we'll just you know, do it again. Uh, too many, oh, okay, so it looks like, you know, you cannot uh, try more than three times in an hour. So we're just going to leave it here and we'll try it back again later. But that's how you connect to the you know, Wi-Fi or network for the first time. And then you have 24 hour. So it looks like it's not that difficult to connect. And uh, the first time you install and connect to your device is a little bit, not too difficult, but I would say just a little bit difficult. Uh, you have to just like, you know, try it a few times if it doesn't work for the first time. And then if you have, uh, once you are set with the device, then it's not that bad to connect it to your, uh, to connect to a network for the first time. And then you can just continue using it. So overall, the, the device and the connection, then everything looks okay. I don't see any problems so far, but you know, once I test out in the real field, 
especially for my next trip, uh, which is going to be about like you know seven eight days. Then definitely I'm going to uh, know more. But so far so good, and uh, you know I'm happy with the product. So thank you for watching. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly.